Hello, Genesis Project family. Hi, Genesis Project family. Welcome to another beautiful day, beautiful week. Yes, today has been raining a lot. Yeah. And it is kind of late afternoon right now in yeah. Grenada. Almost sunset. Mm -hmm. We have a, a beautiful view, as you guys have seen very often in some of our videos. And uh, the sun is about ready to set, so we like to enjoy that a little bit. Yeah. What we have chomping in the background is Riley. So if you hear anything that song like is making noise, it's Riley. We had to give him something to munch on so that he would be quiet because as soon as we sit down to record a video, he needs Mr. Attention, right? He's like, I want to be in the mid middle of what you're doing. I cannot understand what you're doing, but the attention is away from me. So I need to be there right next to my people in everything. Oh yeah. And I'm sure you're going to see his face and his head interrupt this video probably a few times because that's just what he does. Yes. So. <laughs> but we, but we love him. Yeah, we do. We do. He's a fun pup. So one of the things we wanted to talk about today is what's going on in Grenada. Yes. So a little precursor is um, when we left Grenada in, uh, what was it, March, March? of 2021 here, um, there was... The end of February. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. it was right after my birthday, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. So when we left, there was only um, one, death. one death and... I think 77 cases, cases total of, of COVID. COVID on the island. Mm -hmm. And um, so the island didn't get hit very hard. Now keep in mind there's about 97,000, 92,000 people mm -hmm. total on the Grenada mainland. Mm -hmm. So Grenada did a really good job of keeping everything controlled mm -hmm. contained. and um, contained. Uh, they had a lot of protocols in place and it, it was really good. It was mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. Initially, it was a little tough for everybody to grasp because yeah. um, they had restricted movement and stuff. But nevertheless, it really um, controlled what was going on in the um, pertaining to the spread of the virus. And the reason that they actually had 77 cases is because there was a local hotel um, resort on the island that um, didn't quite follow their protocol, and they had. A spread of 30 cases right there just in one one split one place mm -hmm. and it, it broke out into just one little small community and that was about it yeah um, they were able to control it quarantine a few of the people that worked there that lived among the island and and things were good things mm -hmm. were back to you know the new normal as we know it back here now Yes, so. and then um, now that we have been back, we have been back a while now. Yep. Um, we, we got back actually at the, at, um, the end of July. Right, and, and when we came back, the cases were still very few and far um, in between. Very, very few. Right, we came in, um, it had protocols to enter into the island, which we did follow, which yeah. we did quarantine. We always were safe, and those of you all who have been following our videos knew that during um, COVID from um, last year, from March, we have been delivering care packages and we were very, very safe. Me as a physician and, and we reading and, and following all the guidelines that were put in place in yeah. Grenada and even internationally to make sure that there was no spread, that we didn't get um, the virus and we didn't spread the virus. Exactly. Um, when we came back, as I said, we did follow um, protocols. We have been safe. We have been wearing our masks. We have hand yeah. sanitizer um, in, in the vehicle um, and all that. Yep. Um, but um, within a few weeks after we have um, we returned. Yep. Um, so in about about August, um, middle of August, around August 12th, 15th, right in there, things started to change here on the island. Right. Um, and we know that when we came back, we were also negative because yep. we had to do um, a PCR test before um, we left the yeah, U.S. Just even to come into the country, you had to have a negative PCR right. test. Right. And then after, when we came into the island, we also had a negative PCR test and had to quarantine. And even relatively, yep. well, a couple of weeks ago also. We um, had to have another PCR yes, test. Yes. And, and that wasn't re technically required, but where I work, they... Um, ask everyone um, who worked there and even their yeah. spouse to make sure that um, we were not um, positive yep. okay so the entire so we weren't spreading strong, anything right, right how many strong um, a, a few hundred strong at st george's university were tested and um, we were negative um, yep. 
They're of out of the. Well, it was about 2,000 students, maybe even more, and spouses. Mm -hmm. um, there was only 15 people that had um, mm, tested, tested positive. Positive and had very, very mild symptoms. But right now, we are heartbroken to report that it have over 100 deaths. 125 mm -hmm. deaths as of yesterday. All right. And we went from one death. There was only still one death on the island when we arrived here in August. Right. Um, so this is all just in the last month and a half. Right. And so we are talking with heavy heart because we know of persons that die in the U.S. Um, yes. And it's not that it was a friend of a friend of a friend. It no. was people that Personal knew friends of ours. and loved. One of yeah. them we had took a picture of while we was um, at a church. I wouldn't say that their name just um, so because of I think it's their privacy yeah. um, and, and others that we know that, that got the virus in the States and who even recently was diagnosed and is in hospital. For those who have lost loved ones in the US and in Grenada, you know that our heart go out to you. We, we lift you up in prayer. Yes, um, we do it daily. Yes, daily. yes. Um, and that means healing, healing, physical healing, emotional healing, spiritual yes, healing. Yes come to you because losing a loved one being sick it is not an easy thing and seeing that this tiny island over a hundred persons dead because of the virus you know no matter whatever you believe about the virus yep. we are not here to preach about that no nope. okay no nope. and we're not here to debate it it's not yes. a debatable it, thing it's for not us a debatable it's thing. neither here nor there exactly for us the love of christ is above all else Amen. Right, Amen. and for me it, and for Cliff, if you choose to take the vaccine, if you choose not to take the vaccine, I am not going to debate that. Nope. When I hear people, though, we're not going to judge you either. Yes, no, no. Whatever side, whatever, it doesn't matter to us. We love you still. You are still That's our right. friends. You are I still am. our family members. We don't care about that. All right. And you might say, what you don't care about that? Yes, because at the end of the day, it boils down to love. Yep. Right, and when I hear people, you know, saying friends um, who are believers saying that how they stop talking to family members or you stop talking to neighbors because of this debate about the vaccine or COVID or whatever, all that doesn't matter. Jesus Christ didn't die for that, nope. you know. So that is why I'm, I am so heartbroken. I am so heartbroken to see what is going on. Um, and to me, above all else, to us, above all else, is to represent Christ. And how we could represent Christ is loving everyone. It doesn't matter. So since we have been back, um, we have it have um, over the weekends, for the past couple of weekends. Yep, this is, this coming up weekend will be the third. Right, weekend. no movement weekend. Meaning we are locked down. You stay in your house, mm -hmm. on your property. You're not allowed to leave your property. So if you need groceries, if you need whatever, you better have it before you go uh, yes. into Friday night right. at 5 p.m. Yes, unless you are um, an essential um, um, worker, right? Such as working in hospital, fire officers, uh, all those things, right? Police, yes. Yes, right? And... So, we were told by a friend um, a couple of weeks ago that a single mother of, um, I think it's about seven. six, six yeah. or seven children, yeah. she also had um, COVID and asked if we could um, deliver a care package because that friend knew what, what we did. Um, yeah. And so we went, I, and I will send you a, a picture of the line. It literally had a line. It wasn't... Um, they had a line just to go in the grocery just because they didn't want the grocery to be crowded. So they just limited the amount of persons that yeah. entered the grocery. Yeah, at not, one time. And yes. there's social distancing, so yes. everybody's got to be six feet. Right, exactly. And um, we are not in need of anything because I don't want you all to feel that we are here starving out and whatever. No, no. we are. No. And we are thankful that we're not in need yeah. of anything. But we know that plenty others on this island are in need. So we were able to buy groceries to last a little bit um, to make sure that she and her family is able yes. to stay home and still eat. And a friend, an anonymous friend and a husband um, donated one a large, that's Riley choking while he's eating, right? One a large pumpkin. And that was such a blessing to that yeah. family, which I will tell you a lie from it. 
huge, like a yeah. huge, huge pumpkin. Not like we're accustomed to seeing yes. pumpkins. Yes, so. and, and it was such a blessing um, to that family. Um, and we also had some other friends who recently had um, donated. Yes. Who is that? From Idaho. Fusco. Yes, Brandy. Brandy Fusco. Debbie Brandy. Fusco. Yes. yes. Right, um, had um, donated recently and we want to say thank you to our anonymous donors, thank you because you are the ones that are able to keep us doing things on this island, to um, love on others on this island and we will continue doing um, and still keep protocol because when we deliver the care package, we were able to drop it at the bottom of the step so it had more than six feet, right? Yeah, yeah. No one came out. Um, and we were able to drop it and remain safe even though we were wearing masks and all those things and that is what we will continue to do absolutely because that's actually our prayer right now guys yes. that that god place some of these families that are in need that are going through covid that are have lost somebody or someone in their household that is dealing with this that uh, we can be a blessing to them be able to take them a meal be able to take them some essential needed things right. um because it's not about us, and um, it's not about politics. It's not about any of those things. It's about loving on our neighbors well, and mm -hmm. that's what we're here to do. Um, that's why we really feel that um, Grenada is our home, and that's why uh, we're ready to uh, to step out and do as, as God has called us. To right. So we are not going to hide away. We are going to take all um, possible precaution of because course. we don't want to get COVID. We don't want to spread COVID. Um, but for people to stay home when they are diagnosed with, with, with COVID and they don't have any meals, I mean, that to say that is very hard mm -hmm. to do, especially if you have children at home. Family starving yes, and things yes. like that. Nice. So, yeah. so please um, continue to um, support us. Um, if you feel led um, to support us, we, you have our contact information um, at the end of the video that um, you could give. And please um, know that by you giving, you are able to touch so many lives um, for Christ. You and wouldn't believe how how far things spread. Um, if you know the the parable about um, of the two the two fish and the five loaves, mm -hmm. when Jesus blessed that meal and fed the multitudes, I mean thousands of people with that. That's kind of how he works through the Genesis project as well. Yeah, we've seen it. Because we know that we couldn't raise these kinds of funds and be able to um, help families in need here just on this little island yes. but on our own. Yep. There is no way, but he has taken the donations that you all bring to us, that you all send to us, and has fed literally thousands of people here on this island. Right, because we don't have all that money. Sometimes when we look <laughs> at what is in the Genesis Project account, it was like, it, it's dwindling. We are running out of money. And all of a sudden, someone will call, um, someone will donate, Message, yeah. someone will something. And yep. then we will go to the grocery and we will realize that that money has spread beyond. Yeah. So we want to say thank you very much to all of you who have donated, who continue to donate. Um, and for those of you all who are in here and may know someone, or if you have um, COVID and you want a meal, or you want groceries, you please, need, yeah. yes, please reach out to us. Um, we will do our best um, as well allow yeah. to... Providing the government will allow us to right. travel around. We, we were very blessed that last year we were able to get a pass to go from... Multiple passes. Multiple passes to get from parish to parish. Yes, um, during and, curfew or, yeah. or, and, and during yeah. the lockdown. In, instead of being locked down, that we can be out actually delivering care packages to families in need so we're we're praying that uh, we're allowed to do the exact same thing again this year all right so riley one second attention just one second i tell you this guy he's uh he's notorious for needing a lot of attention so thank you very much Genesis project family we love you we um ask you to pray for our nation because the government had also asked that we take this time 
and pray for our nation. Yes. So we not only pray for our nation, um, um, which is the island of Grenada, um, Pikimatnik and, and Karikou, because it's a tri-island state. We also pray for the United States, yes. we pray for Trinidad and Tobago, we pray for every single nation throughout the world who are losing lives to yes. this disease. Um, so we pray for those who are not even losing their lives, but who may get yeah. sick or who are family members. Might be losing sick. their jobs, might be losing their businesses, things like that. Um, this is, or how about losing friendships or families um, divided because of uh, beliefs? We're praying for them as well, and we ask that you do the same. Let's love on our neighbors correctly. Let's love on our neighbors well together. And uh, that's the best way we can fight this. So I am back. <laughs> Finally got Riley to cool down a little bit. So Almost for you for guys, second. for you guys, Riley here, he wants some attention from us. Um, so we love you Genesis Project family. Please like and come um, and subscribe. Please spread the word. Please donate if you can. Please keep us in prayer. Let us, as the body of Christ, pray for our nations. Let us not be carried away by this argument because God is not a God of confusion. So let us not be carried away with this confusion about who taking vaccine or who not taking vaccine, but let us show the love of Christ. Above all, let us represent Christ. Absolutely. And we, we're not going to name names, but there are some, some dear friends of ours mm -hmm. that we know of family members that are suffering right now with COVID. And uh, we're praying for you. Our heart is with you. You're, mm -hmm. you're in our minds, our hearts, our souls. And we're, we're lifting you up. And we love you. Love you. Thank you, Genesis Project families. Bye. Bye.